हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू योर ब्यूटीफुल चैनल दैट इज 33. डॉट फिजिक्स फॉर यू नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व यू न्यूमरिकल्स ऑफ चैप्टर एट ग्रेविटेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट ट्वेल्व Now in this example, a rocket is fired from the Earth towards the Sun. At what distance from the Earth's center is the gravitational force on the rocket is zero? We are firing a rocket from Earth towards the Sun. So, at what distance from the Earth, the gravitational force acting on this rocket due to Earth as well as Sun is zero? Mass of Sun is given as two into ten to the power thirty kg. Mass of sun is given as two into ten to the power thirty kg, and mass of earth is given as six into ten to the power twenty four kg. Neglect the effect of other planets, etc. Orbital radius is that is distance between earth and sun is given as one point five into ten to the power eleven meter. remember these are all constant values right which you should remember now a rocket is fired from earth towards the sun so if we consider here this as earth and somewhere over here let us say this is sun from center of sun to the center of earth the distance is given as r a rocket is fired from the earth towards the sun suppose somewhere over here the rocket is somewhere over here right which is at a distance x from the center of earth so you can say that this is at a distance of r minus x from sun this rocket is at a distance of r minus x from sun now the force gravitational force acting on this rocket should be zero resultant force must be zero which means that the force acting on this rocket due to earth should be equal to the force acting on rocket due to sun so force on rocket is zero that is actually the force acting on rocket due to earth and the force acting on rocket this implies that force acting on rocket due to earth is equal to force acting on rocket due to sun right both these forces should be equal and opposite and hence the resultant will be zero now what is formula for gravitational force between rocket and earth let us assume that let mass of rocket be m we have assumed that rocket mass is m and it is at a distance of it is at a distance x from center of earth where gravitational force acting on it is zero so the force acting between rocket and earth is g Into mass of Earth into mass of rocket over distance between them is x square is equal to g mass of sun into mass of rocket over distance between them is r minus x whole square g m one m two upon r square right so here g and g will get cancel out m and m will get cancel out so mass of sun over mass of Earth will be equal to R minus x whole square over x square. Now mass of sun is two into ten to the power thirty over six into ten to the power twenty four is equal to R minus x over x. You can write whole square. So two three is a six. And if you take twenty four in numerator, then thirty minus twenty four will be six. One by three is 0.3333 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to r minus x by x whole square let us take square root of 0.333 
right so if you take square root of 0 0.333 then you will get answer 0 0.577321 and so on into 10 to the power 3 is equal to r minus x by x if you multiply this then this will be 577.3 is equal to r minus x by x you can do one thing you can cross multiply this and simplify so you if you simplify this you will get 5 Seven seven point three x plus x is equal to r. So five seven eight point three x is equal to value of r is one point five into ten to the power eleven. So x will be equal to one point five into ten to the power eleven divided by five seven eight point three. So one point five divided by 578.3 will give you 0 0.002593 and so on into 10 to the power 11. If you shift this point 1, 2, 3, then you'll get 2.5938 into 10 to the power 11 minus 3. You are moving on right hand side, right? So 10 to the power minus 3. So 11 minus 3 will be 8. Or you can write this is nearly 2.6 into 10 to the power 8 meter. So at this distance from the earth, the gravitational force acting on this rocket will be equal to the gravitational force acting on this rocket by sun. Gravitational force acting on rocket by earth at this distance will be equal to the gravitational force acting on rocket by sun. And hence the resultant force will be 0. Clear?